Easy people, welcome back to my channel at Big Steve MCFC. Manchester City 4, Bournemouth 1. Definitely a step in the right direction after the last couple of weeks. One step forward, two steps back, two steps forward, one step back. That's what it's been kind of like. Um, after the draw midweek um, in Leipzig, obviously... It wasn't a bad result looking back at it now, but at the time it felt like a bit of a loss, a bit of a downer, the way we played first half and then second half. Um, there was a lot of frustrated Manchester City fans this week on social media. A lot of people reaching out, a lot of people confused, not knowing what our best side is, not knowing what our best formation is. Uh, going into Bournemouth, tight, compact ground, fighting for their lives. Yeah, it... it, it it wasn't something a lot of people were looking forward to. Um, it had banana skin written all over it. Um, the teams was announced. Uh, Alvarez is in. Rico Lewis is in. So we know we're going to be playing with that extra man in midfield. Rico coming in from the from the right hand side. And um, yeah, it worked. It worked. I mean, I'm a big fan of Rico Lewis. I am. Um, I think some games the inverted fullback Enrico coming into midfield works. It does, like like at weekend. But then there's other games where I just think it doesn't work. It puts us under the pressure. You know, the back three gets stretched. Rico's in the middle. Um, but against Bournemouth, it worked. Alvarez gives us a different dimension um, with his energy and his pace in and around the area. It looked like uh, Erling Haaland had a lift. You know, he was getting involved. He was dropping deep, laying it off. He was in and around the box all the time, looking for the ball. But what I did think the biggest change was, I thought with Rico coming into midfield, um, it allowed Gundogan to get forward. And he was popping up in mad places, down the left-hand channel, down the right-hand channel. He was getting in the pockets. And um, it was good to see. It was good to see. Um, the first goal, obviously, was a bit of a scramble. Um, the ricochet from Erling off the bar, drops to Alvarez and he puts it in. But, I mean, if if um, if Alvarez isn't playing, you know, I don't think we have anyone in the box there. I think there's only Erling in there. So, that just hits the bar, cannons away and, and that's a chance gone. So, it was good to see Alvarez in and around the area. It's good to see Erling having some support, you know what I mean? Um, I thought Bournemouth set up okay, five at the back. I think they've got a little bit of pace on the counter-attack. I don't think they exploited that. But I just think we 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 shown another level. I mean, Phil Foden coming in again. Um, Phil's had a bit of stick this season for not being um, the Phil Foden we know. But I thought on Saturday he looked back to his best. He was picking it up. Um, it was the passing was great. He was getting in and around the box. Um, and like I say, he deserved he deserved his goal. Um, Big Erling got on a score sheet again. Great to see. Same thing. We just looked different. I just we just looked different. We were getting the ball in the box. Gundo and down the down the left hand flank, whipping it in first time. Do you know what I mean? Folding, getting it in the box. Uh, Rico Lewis snapping away in midfield, winning the ball back, releasing it straight away, not keeping hold of it too long. Um, I know people will look at it and say it's only Bournemouth, but they're the teams we've been struggling against. They're the teams we've been struggling against. I mean, look at the goal for, for Haaland. You know, he um, Foden was unlucky not to score that. Gets a little deflection, Haaland puts it in. You know what I mean? And then Foden with the goal, they make a mistake. I think it was Billing. He passed it back. Foden's lashed onto it. And if you watch him, he just takes a little touch at the last minute, which throws the keeper and he puts it in. So, you know, 3 0 up, half time, you know, we're buzzing with that. We're looking around the park, doesn't look like we're in trouble anywhere. You know, Ruben Diaz has come in. I think he's been a breath of, uh, breath of fresh air for us. Um, and then he starts making some changes, which is good to see. You know, we've said it this season, there's a lot of players on the bench I don't think Pep trusts. Calvin Phillips finally comes in, you know, he gets a run in the team. Um, he just needs to start coming off the bench. 
10, 15 minutes every game. Calvin needs to start coming in, seeing the games out. Pep will have a little bit of faith in him. Obviously, with Bristol coming on Tuesday, he might start. I'm not sure. You know, I think the Southampton Carabao Cup game didn't didn't go well for him. So I think Pep doesn't trust him that much. Sergio Gomez, he came on. Good to see him get some minutes again. He's had an up and down start to his career at Sitter. You know, one minute he starts to look well, and and we think, oh, he's not a bad little player. Then he then he absolutely stinks it out. Same at Southampton. Um. But one of the most impressive things about Saturday for me was young Maximo Perón. Now, Maximo signed um, from South America. He's come in. Um, he's been on the bench a couple of times. This was his first outing, so we didn't know much about him. But I just thought he looked very composed on the ball. I thought he, um, he didn't take too many touches. He just kept the ball moving. He was always wanting the ball. He was coming deep. You know, he was begging for him to pass to him and that. And... Um, yeah, it was only a 15, 20-minute cameo, but I thought he looked really, really well. And I can see why City signed him. He looks like he's he's, he's very safe on the ball, you know what I mean? And um, no, it'd be interesting to see if he gets a start on uh, Tuesday against Bristol. Because, you know, it's not going to be an easy game there. You know, we've played there before, it's been hard. So, But Peroni, for me, impressed. I don't know what you guys think in the comments. What do you think about him? I know it's hard to judge on 15 minutes, but, you know, we did okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know if this is this the future uh, formation. Is this what Pep's going to go with? You know, is he going to start Alvarez more? Is he going to start Rico instead of Walker? We don't know. You know, will it work against the big teams? We don't know. But I definitely think we wanted a reaction from the players and the manager, and we got one. I've got to shout out the fans at Bournemouth. Were fantastic. Do you know what I mean? Non-stop throughout that game, they were singing, getting behind the boys. And you know what? It's been a Tough couple of weeks for a Man City fan. It's been tough on the pocket. It's been tough on the energy, the travelling. You know, Tottenham away, Arsenal away, Forest away, Leipzig away, Bournemouth away, Bristol away. Now, you've got to have some dedication to do that. So, I've got to respect everyone that does it. And it's all right, these people, you know, throwing mud at Man City fans. But listen, we're there week in, week out. We're there, you know. And... um Bournemouth's a fucking nightmare of a gaff to be getting to. Tiny, compact shithole of a place. And um, no, I was glad we got in there and got the points. But overall, the performance for me is what stood out. We conceded a goal late on. And I know a few City fans were messaging going, we conceded. But come on, we won 4-1. We've got to be happy with that. We can't be... I know Edison and the boys are going to want a clean sheet, but... We was under the cosh at the bit. We did make a lot of changes. That we did we did upset the, the rhythm and the system to get people's minutes in the tank. So we conceded late on, but it is what it is. 4-1 at Bournemouth is a great result for us. And we're moving on. We're moving on to the FA Cup. Bristol, Tuesday night. Um, after this preview, I'm going to go home and pack a bag and I'm going to drive down there the day early, late on. So... God help me, because the traffic from Manchester to Bristol is going to be a nightmare. But um, I'm looking forward to the game. It's the FA Cup. be very interesting to see if Pep uses this to, to tinker with the team again, maybe change the formation. Um, Kevin De Bruyne, you know, maybe get some minutes. He looked, he looked poorly at the weekend. I seen him in the warm-up coughing when they were warming up and he was literally coughing his guts up. So I can understand why. You know, he's not playing him. Uh, Alvarez, I'd like to see start. Got a feeling he's going to drop Ireland, give him a rest, but I, I definitely want to play him. Definitely. You know, just as he's scoring again, keep him in the side. Um, but yeah, Perone, will he start him? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, the midfield's definitely a problem for me. We spoke about it last week. Pep tinkering with a back four. Um, but for me, I tinker with a midfield. Good to see Grealish having another good game. You know what I mean? Foden um, looks like he's got his mojo back. So, yeah, Blues, it's looking positive. It's looking positive. You know, Arsenal nick to win at Leicester this weekend. Uh, all we can do is keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on and keep cranking it up. We've got Arsenal to play. You know, I think there's going to be some twists and turns coming me, myself. I think both teams have got some difficult games coming up. We've got... Crystal Palace and things like that. Horrendous place for me. 
in my opinion, Palace is the worst place. I hate the place. Do you know what I mean? I don't mind the team, Crystal Palace, Patrick Vieira and that, and the, and the fans and that. I think they're spot on. I just, it's just the whole ground and getting there and all that. Just, ugh, it's not for me, man. It's not for me. But um, yeah, so it's going to be another big week. Got Newcastle Saturday on the back of a defeat in the final. Big up the Geordies, went down Wembley, took over Trafalgar Square, seen it. Um, big shout out to the noisy neighbours, you know, winning a cup. It's always good when these small teams manage to win a trophy, you know, after seven years. Fair play to you. You know, the Tim Pop Cup, as they used to call it. But they're all outside begging for tickets, 900 quid a grand. But yeah, it's okay. But when we win it, you know, it's a Tim Pop outfit cup and, you know, it doesn't matter. It's the Carabao and this, that and the other. But, you know, we all seen the scenes, lads. We've seen them. We know, we know it's been getting a bit rough on your end. So it's good to see the noisy neighbours winning. You know what I mean? We wish them all the best. <laughs> not. But anyway, it is what it is. But listen, Blues, there's not much to say on that. Bournemouth, like I say, we needed to go there, get the job done. I'd have took a 1-0, we won 4-1. You know, Bristol on the Tuesday. Big shout out to all the Blues travelling to Bristol. Let's get this win and get in the next round of the FA Cup. And then we've got home game, half 12, Newcastle, Saturday. We've got to keep on rolling. And while I'm on here, Blues, thanks for everyone that's supporting me on this channel. Um, last few months, the subscribers have gone up a notch. I've been trying to do more content, so that helps. But I'm only about 25 people off. 15k subs so if we get to 15k subs i'll do a giveaway i'll give away a harland shirt or something like that so please like share subscribe my content um always help if you're in any facebook groups you can add my streams in there and tell people to check it out um yeah big 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 month ahead coming up you know it's been a tough one but we're going for it Big up Pep Guardiola for, for listening to the fans and, and changing it a little bit. And um, let's hope now that we can all kick on and move forward, um, starting with Bristol on Tuesday. So if you're going to the game, I'll see you there at Bristol. If not, I'll see you at the Etihad on Saturday. Come on, City. Let's go. Let's go.